Hey there guys, gals, fans, and pals, your buddy John Megacycle here. On another episode of Factorio, Warptorio Edition is coming at ya. Things are moving along very nicely. We're we're at the zenith, I think. We're at a really good top part of where we're at in the food chain. We have plenty of resources coming in. We have our smelting, our harvesting. Our, a lot of this stuff is all just automagic. I don't have to worry about nearly as much stuff as I had to in the past. We've got some good harvester levels going on on both sides, the left side and the right side. Uh, things are looking really good. Right now we're on a copper planet, so I'm pulling down as much copper as we can. Just get that socked away for the future. Uh, I still don't need copper nearly as much as I need iron. So this is still, you know, good good time investment and everything. Just every couple of jumps, just make sure we get a lot of the copper dialed in. Oh, what else? What else? What else? Um, oil. Right, got this all set up. We have 50k of petroleum gas just sitting here. We have a ton of red circuits, which allows us to do a lot of blue science production. Which is great, because we're going to be opening up a lot of stuff. Uh, next, we're going to do a real big double down on harvesters. Not only the harvester size floor, but also each of the wings. Uh, yeah, the west platform is what I'm really looking forward to. Um, the thing I kind of notice about the platforms, though, which is a little interesting, is I can't deploy it unless I can deploy the entire platform, which makes sense. So I wonder if there's going to be times where we have very small areas that I just can't use the resources. So here's a good example, maybe. You see this cliff right here? It looks like a... Oh, what's that Atari game? That the dungeon and the weird birds or whatever. Not Joust. Anyway, that reminds me of that. It doesn't matter. Anyway, um, with a much bigger platform, it'd actually be harder to get this in this little area here. So that might actually become an issue because I can't modify the size of the platforms. The platforms are the platforms are the platforms. Um... So I could modify what's on them, but the space they take is the space they take. That's all there is to it. So, food for thought. Good to know, food for thought kind of a thing. Uh, yes, I want this all into steel. Thank you for your time. I don't think I need these burner things anymore. I think I've said that a couple of times. I wonder where I stashed the... ...furnaces. I don't remember where I had, like, a dump bin. Maybe I let it... Maybe I let it go out to the wild or something. Uh, yeah. I don't remember. And that's okay. It's not super critical. Uh, because you can't turn the stone furnaces into anything else. Those are actually mods I really, really like. When you're not wasting stuff, when you turn stone furnaces into steel furnaces, um, it adds a little bit of price, but the neat thing about it is, like, I feel like I'm not wasting anything. Uh, Bob's was really good. When I played Bob's forever ago, when it was, like, what, x.13.x or whatever? Uh, that did a really good job. Like, T1 gun turret could be turned into T2 gun turret, which could be turned into T3 gun turret, which could be turned into whatever. So I'm not sitting with a chest full of T1 garbage at the end of the playthrough or whatever. Like, everything evolves up. That makes it a little more time expensive and everything, but still. How much of a boost does this give us? 10%? I'll take it. It's fine. Um... Speed modules, productivity modules, I don't see as super important in getting into the miners right now anyway. I mean, we'll have over 100% mining productivity. And as you can see, at least on the east side, we're not processing it fast enough. On the west side, we're barely processing it fast enough. I think if we make it all the way here, there's still a little bit of overlap. Yeah. 
So we're barely keeping up with what's coming in, which is fine. Uh, but that's kind of the point I'm trying to make, is I don't really feel it's super necessary to increase mining speed or anything when we've already got the productivity research and stuff. Yep, we're looking real good on all that. Uh, I don't think I need stone bricks anymore. I'm just gonna grab the rest of this, chuck this into walls, and then just be like, you chew on- yeah, you chew on that for a while. We're- we're not a need. Yep, and they just ran out, so that's fine. Um, as we get more stone in... Actually, you know what? There we go. I legitimately don't want that to produce any more stuff. There a few more iron chests if we could. Eh, adds a little more storage, why not? Really lazy storage, but it adds more storage. Uh, that can just go there. I'll take all this. Now, whenever I want to fire that back up, that's ready to party. Oh. That was hungry, alright. A little more, uh, let's do a little more errand running, I guess. Once a Warp Harvester West Platform Size 3 triggers, that's going to be a whole pile of work that I'm looking very forward to, honestly. You can have that. Everything's backed up and really nice, yeah. How are we on AP ammo here? 643, amazing. Engines and red circuits. Wow, 400 engines? Was that it? Amazing. Red circuits. Wrap. Oh. Yeah. How was that on green circuits and copper and stuff? Could use more copper. Mm, green circuits aren't critical, but could use a few. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. How much coal do we have? Uh, 39k. Yep, that's enough for a few more jumps, for sure. Um, I don't think I see any coal anywhere near here. And as I said before, as a, as a last-ditch effort, or whatever, we could start turning oil into solid fuel. Which I'll need for jet fuel eventually. I don't think we have that. That doesn't come with, does it? Uh, no, it doesn't. That's its own research. Jet fuel is... Or not jet fuel. Rocket fuel is very energy dense. So that's also pretty cool. Could use another iron run. No oil? I guess that's not... Yeah, I, I don't really need stuff. Uh, uranium would be neat. We've only seen one uranium world, right? We've only seen one instance where it was the beautiful glow, or maybe there was two instances. But even then, it didn't seem as abundant as copper is. So whatever. Maybe not that big of a deal.
We'll get there when we get there. Um, what I'm hoping is the boiler room has the Giga add-on, like the other Giga stuff does on the factory floor, I think. Let's take a quick gander. Giga. Giga f uh, factory floor, Giga boiler room. Okay, cool. So what I'm hoping that does is that, like, just opens up a massive swath or something. Then that would make it really easy for nuclear... Nuclear? <sighs> nuclear. Nuclear is the way it's spelled. Nuclear is the way I say it sometimes. I don't know why. I'm a complicated man. I don't ask questions. <laughs> my brain is my brain. There's not much I can do about it. Uh, we're gonna unpack this. Because it's gonna unpack itself anyway. Yeah, no problem. It's gonna unpack itself anyway the second we hit 100%. And then I'm gonna have to... We'll take a quick look, we'll rejigger whatever we gotta do, we'll retweak it, and then we'll go from there. I'm just gonna peel that back. Uh, since I was outside and came in here, we've already gone another 4 or 5%, so I'm just gonna chill lax. More turrets would be cool. Um... Yeah, I don't know. We'll just have to see. As I ponder and sip my coffee. Mmm. Oh my. Me likey. Okay, uh... I don't want level 2 anymore. I want level 3. I wonder what happens, because I have a level 2. What happens if I summon level 2? Uh, same- oh! It turned into a 3. Okay, well I don't need- I don't need two of these. Oh. Copper's up here. Haha! <laughs> I knew that! I knew that. We had a little bit more room. That's actually another thing, too. Not only are obstacles going to be a bigger issue, but also just trees in general are going to be a bit of a pain in the butt. We'll be alright, though. Okay. That's about as centered as I think I'm going to be able to get it. So what, work from the center out, maybe? Oh, don't mind that. I'm in the middle of something here. I feel that is more than enough to fully densify up a red line. Uh, you know what I should do, though? Um... I should probably split it with a splitter and merge it. So that way I'm not just using one half line. Uh, here, if you guys could- thanks. I don't have any iron. Crap spackle, thanks. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't make circuits. Are you mad? There we go. Much better. I knew that was going to happen. I knew that was going to happen the second I stepped in.
Okay, let's get some turrets at- this is a lot of extra space, holy crap. This is a lot of extra turrets as well. That I almost don't think I need. <laughs> uh, and then like, I don't know, a few in the front? This is a little wasteful, but I don't need this many miners, considering all the mining productivity bonuses we have. Kitties think it's breakfast time, so if you hear any yelping or something, uh, it is them kickboxing or something for breakfast. I think I need these turrets here anymore. Uh, I'm going to move this over by one. Takes care of that, and this is a much, much heavier build than what we had before, which I really like. So one, two, three, four, and uh, the poles don't super matter. I don't think I'm not going to be ultra particular. So there, three, and then. Okay, I need more ammo. I'll be back in a tick. So that should easily saturate a red line, right? That's my thought behind that. Let's take all this. Thank you kindly. Uh, I've got a bit of a generous gap here. Oh, all did all this expand? Uh, hold on. Yes, yes it did. Cool. That changes the build... Holy hell, come on. That changes the build paradigm again? Uh, not enough for it to matter. I can't stack... I can't double stack stuff. Oh, if I remove coal, I could... Uh, we'll, we'll give that a bit of a think. Think, think, think. All right. That very much saturates the red line. I've, I see miners not doing anything, which is perfect. Yep, this is what we got right now. It works. Um, when we can get to double lines and other stuff, it'll I'll have to change it again. But for right now, this is fine. It's fine, it's fine. Um, I could do two lines of smelters. But, 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 but. I'd have to get rid of the coal line. Or I'd have to get rid of the output line, which doesn't sound like fun to me. That is an option, though. That is a thing that can happen. I think I'm pretty happy with this. Uh, do we want to do a buffer of any sort? Let's see. Feed, box, feed, line. Feed, box, feed, line. Uh, might, might, could? Might, could. One, two, three, four. Now to figure out how much it takes to saturate a line.
that looks like that works. That guarantees, quote unquote, that guarantees the line to the smeltery is full thick. Right? But that also makes sure, ensures that I've got a capacity of storage. Now, how much do these things store a box? Like 3.2k? Uh, really rough mental math. Let's say that's 32,000. 5 times 3 is 15. I got one extra. 18. Be like 36,000? Something like that. 30, 38,000. Something like that. Um, but that's a neat little thing we can do about that. I'm going to turn you guys into logistics chests so hard, it's going to be ridiculous. Your freaking head's going to spin. Uh, this one, yeah, this one's needed two of everything. We're getting there. We're getting there. Uh, I don't have plans after this. I do. Cheaper, not, not necessarily cheaper. Yeah, cheaper plans. Non-military requiring plans. Uh, I actually need a crate of copper. Thank you kindly. How you doing? Thank you kindly. Boop, boop. How are we doing on the defensives and stuff? Uh, we should probably jump. We should probably briggity bounce. Yep, I like that very much. Uh, we're gonna have to pay attention because when we upgrade, that's gonna shift again. But hopefully we don't see anyone doing nothing. Uh, little spikes here and there, but nothing terrible. How much do we already have stored? Several hundred. That's cool. So if we do also warp to an uninhabitable world or a desert planet or something, we can actually still be functional. We can still do work. Which is cool. I like it. Uh, I'm actually just going to tear this all up because I'm absolutely going to in a minute anyway. I wonder how long that ghost has been there. I need a right level three. There we go. Neat. Neat, neat, neat. I'm gonna go dump this outside real quick because I can. Oof. Beautiful. It doesn't much matter. Um. Do I care about storage on this side? Kind of, yes. But not everything is something I want to smelt right away. So I'd actually need to put the storage on this line. Right here. Coal and other crap doesn't really smelt. Well, it does, but I don't want it to until it goes somewhere else. I guess it answered all my questions. I guess I'm not building a buffer. Uh, I need this, though. Uh, I've got time. Yeah, i got time. We're gonna head out this way. Is there another similarly sized copper field? There is. Um, so I wonder if I can place this. And if the game's just going to let me place it even though I can't possibly build it. Hi. Nope. Those are medium biters, and those are spitters. 
you doing? Craps. I should probably look into that modular armor. Okay, you know what? Cover me. Thanks. Alright, I want that. And I can build it right to two star Goku spec, right? Yeah, I didn't think I had one of those. Uh, I'm going to need way more ammunition. Uh, let's fill, like, two or three more turrets. There we go. And I'm gonna run back, get some more stuff. I got about a minute. And whatever I'm not done with, I can just pack up and leave. So, it's not that big a deal. Not too big of a deal. If we're not finished. There we go. Thank you. Uh, note to self, I need steel up here. And a minimum, I'd like to get the mine. Yeah, those are mediums. Okay. Nothing too scary, but something we need to pay attention to. Oh! Wait, what? Oh, there we go. Okay. Ten seconds. Just to be safe. That was actually a lot closer than I would have liked that to have been. Usual critters and riches surround, but something seems missing. Okay. Yep, so this is this is exactly what I was explaining in practice, or what I was hoping for in practice. That's all just going to continue to smelt, regardless of whether or not I'm actually bringing in any resources. I'll take this. Hi. There you go. There you go. Uh, cool. That does that. Let's set up our mining ops, and let's just keep going. So, iron for sure. Cool, it kept all the ghosts and stuff. Nope. Oh, okay. <laughs> there. You win. Turrets are looking mighty fine, mighty fine. How does this connect? That's how this connect. Uh, I need way more ammo. Enough that I think I'm going to deplete the line almost completely. Is that a problem? Not really. Uh, this world seems fairly calmish 
And we have plenty of resources in the bin to just make more. And building up these exterior areas is actually going to give us a bit of a defensive boost because it's more pressure I'm taking off of the main base. Is that really necessary? Not really. The main base is a big boy. It can defend itself, but still at the point. This makes this a little on the easier. Cool. That's all done. I have about 200 rounds to spare, not including what's in my holster. How's this looking? Uh, yeah, that's about right. It doesn't matter what it pulls from the chest, copper or iron, it's all single process level stuff. Now, if it was processing steel or something, that's when this would be a problem because it would, con it would consistently expect more iron plates, which... I don't have a guarantee more iron plates or more iron would even show up. But right now, we're looking good. <laughs> Golly, copper much? Oh, uh, you're out of steel by a large margin. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Been tough times in steel country. What's this? And I'm out. Alright. Run a few more errands. Uh, yeah. We're looking very good on mining and everything now. If that iron ore is, like, rich at all, I'm gonna go take it. Now, the other thing that's interesting is what I'm actually looking for is larger plots of resources and not necessarily dense. Now, what do I mean by that? I would actually look for and appreciate a very large, wide resource thing that might be like 100,000, as opposed to a very small resource patch that might be 5 million or something, because I'm not going to be here forever. So it takes a really, really long time for me to harvest something that's 5 million, like really small, really dense. But I want something that's like way spread out, and is maybe not nearly as many resources. That would actually be a lot more helpful for what I'm trying to accomplish. You can have that copper. You can have that copper. You can have this wire. Enjoy some more copper. 144. Uh, red circuits, right. It's been a while since I've been in the boiler room. And any green circuits. And probably copper on the soonish. Uh, not as much as I thought. Man, 300, 400, whatever red circuits feels like it should be, uh, you know, sticking around a little longer, but it really doesn't. It just kind of poofs and it's gone, you know? Cool. All that's running. Very nice. Very nice. How energy dense is lumber, anyway? Uh, wood is half as dense as coal. Uh, that's gonna do me no favors. Oh, we can actually still manufacture a lot of stuff. 
in fairly short order, so that's fine. How are we doing out here? Uh, oil check? Let's do an oil check. Check our oil levels. Uh, almost bone dry. Our petroleum, still 50k, so that's fine. Uh, but oil would be a thing I would be very interested in. Whoops, wrong floor. Wrong floor. Uh, any oil? Not really. Not as if yet. Oh, I like how the power line's meshed up. <laughs> That's cute. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna go for that. I'm gonna go for that iron. This is where a tank would be amazing. I don't have to explore outside the base often, but when I do, I wouldn't mind it if it had a bunch of PDL... Is that PLDs? Personal laser defense? Personal defense lasers? I could really go either way with it. <laughs> PDL, PLDs, whatever. And then just get out there with some shielding as well and just get me to where I need to go. Set up shop, GTFO, right? I don't need to stick around for super long. Actually, this will work out perfectly. Hopefully all the things are going to be doing the things. Yeah. Great. Awesome. Yeah, coal... Uh, keep calling coal and copper interchangeably incorrectly. I don't know why. Tired? Yeah, I am. <laughs> stressed? A little. Yeah, not going to lie. A little stressed. Been a rough week. Uh, but I'm okay. I'm okay. Any chance I get to play video games? Pretty happy about that. Can't I can't cry super hard about that, right? Able to step away from the day, sip on some water, or have a nice cup of coffee, do a little gaming, a little chit-chat with everybody here, you know? I don't care if it's one person or 100 people checks out my channel. If I make one connection, if one person says, Hey, that was cool. I had a good time with you. Thanks. Thanks for the free entertainment or whatever. Been fun. You know, one person says that, ah, it's all the better. All the beautiful. You need iron. Need this. Snack on that. And I'll need some of this. Go down here, run a couple of errands real quick. Uh, have that. Oh, I guess, uh, a little more stocked up on that than I thought. Uh, I do need iron, though. Need so much iron. Holy crap. Ba 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 ba. And steel. Yep. Steel for engines, yo. How many engines do I have? 22. Yep. Blue science just takes a while, huh? 24 seconds. Oh my god. I thought it was like 12. Well, it's technically 12 per chemical pack, because 24 divided by 2 is 12. And we do make two of them every instance, so that technically, mathematically, somewhat doesn't sound insane. It doesn't help, but... Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. No oil, huh? No oil, no uranium, no nothing. We could go out and just curb stomp little nests like that. That's definitely a thing that can be done. Should be done? I don't know. I don't think I really gain anything strategically or tactically in that matter. Over halfway done harvester floor size, which will be cool. Just gotta be patient, really. Um... 
What do I want to do about this? I feel kind of impatient and weird about this setup here. This is almost keeping up, right? Almost. It almost keeps up, though it doesn't. And uh, we've got quite a bit of excess in storage, so I'm pretty happy with that. I would really like to just copy-paste and do the same setup over here. Uh, the fact or the harvester floor isn't going to change this very much, to be frank. Uh, we've already taken the big hit, which was changing each of the sides. Okay, what am I thinking with this? Uh, we could segregate stone and whatever if I wanted to. I kind of don't really want to, though. Move this down, spread this out. What do I gain, though? Probably nothing. So this will feed into here. Oh, I know what I want. Yeah, I want to build that buffer. And we'll move the iron line up one. I'll redo all of this, I think, just so I could have that buffer zone. Something like that. This was easy enough to build. It'll be easy enough to rebuild. I don't believe the harvester floor site is going to thicken our bridges, branches, whatever. I don't think that's going to happen. We've already gotten that with the wing upgrade, I think. I keep calling them wings, right? Are they called wings? Uh, Warp Harvester West Platform. I've been calling them the wrong thing, damn. Okay. So, buffer time, right? Uh, I need more iron plates. Thank you. Any more fast inserters? Thank you. Cool. Uh, what did we say? Five? Oh, do I not have vision over there? Huh. That's interesting. Uh, our factory was so small before that I kind of figured... Uh, I'd always be able to see everything. Uh, the answer is five. Five on each saturates it thoroughly. So one, uh, uh, inserter box inserter, inserter box inserter. Perfect. That works. No, it doesn't works. Inserter box. Inserter box, insert. Yeah, that doesn't fly. Uh, hmm. Hmm, 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 hmm. Okay. New plan. Uh, I'm not gonna segregate stone like that. We're gonna do something else. So, what I want is stone. Nope, nope, stop. Holy crap. <laughs> Holy craps. Uh, very similar to the way we had it, I want stone and I want coal to hit the same thing. Boop, 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 boop. Cool, let's take a gander. Yes, it is much and thickened. I like it. Um... Oh, we could do uranium processing. Nice. I'm not super interested in... The, yeah. Boiler would be cool. Actually, that's not necessary either. Uh, factory floor, maybe? I don't have enough room or anything for advanced material processing yet, I don't think. Let's do factory floor. Let's start with that. Um, I kind of want to figure this out before I call this an episode. So let's just do that real quick. So what I need to do... 
is I need to separate out coal and I need to separate out stone. They're going to go the top way. Uh, I'll put priority right. Coal. That's fine. Everything else is going to go this way, though. Ah, damn it. I keep right-clicking to modify an object, which is how a lot of other games have been playing operate. That's not your fault, Factorio. It's me. I'm a dork. So something like that will push coal and stone in that direction. Everything else? Right here, right? Inserter, box, inserter. Nope. Inserter. Uh, this goes away. Because once again, I'm using the same line twice. Inserter, box, inserter. That doesn't work. Inserter, box, inserter. This works. Which is weird. Okay, so I'll need to think about this differently. What if we did this in a lateral... The other approach, right? What if we did something like this? This is a little janky, but this'll do. Right? Like that. And then this feeds to the line? Yeah, maybe that's the way we gotta handle this. Crap scale- oh no, okay. Uh, that's fine. That's completely fine. Uh, this however is not. This for testing sake. Okay, cool. Uh, this is gonna run all the way down somewhere else. I need one of these. Uh, that, I think that's necessary. Okay, whew, there's a buffer, right? Great. <laughs> that was a lot of effort for, I think, almost no benefit, but that's okay. I had fun doing it. Believe it or not, I had fun doing it. I actually don't need that splitter, but I'll take it anyway. I'll put to stone... Uh-huh. So this line is segregating out coal and stone. That's it. This line is just going to stop right there, and I'm just going to process this as it is, because we already have a buffer zone for that. Oh my gosh, okay. I think that works. I think that works. Maybe I'm wasting time thinking about all this buffering, but I kind of like the idea behind it. You're out of engines. You're out of engines because I'm out of steel. We're out of steel because I'm not bringing enough iron. We're not bringing enough, enough iron because uh, I've got more work to do. <laughs> That's why. Thanks. Uh, if I braid it, I almost would have enough stuff to do. Um, I don't want that there. So will there ever be a time when I'm pulling multiple stuff? I could just output this to this line as well, couldn't I? Hmm. Lots to think about. Lots to think about. So what if I did this? Output priority right coal and this is actually finished ingots and stuff uh can i get an underneath -y? i super duper can't Oop. thank you oh uh, thank you uh, let's check topside real quick it's been quiet uh time to go time to go
Man, the amount of iron that just has to get cold pressed into steel is kind of obscene. Makes sense, but it's still kind of obscene. Is that? Is that? You should be good for a little bit, yeah? There you go. With my blessings or whatever. You can kick off. That can kick off. Alright, so. Uh, right. Did I build it? I built it. Cool. There's our under... Nope. There's our underneathy there. So, finished plates go this way, right? Seems legit. Seems legit. Um, I would like this moved up. About there. That feels a little bit better. Uh, actually, I could probably make this much easier by doing it the other way. Uh, I'd save an underneath the... No, I actually wouldn't save crap, so it doesn't matter. Oh, so much, so much. Okay. Gimme, 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 gimme. Then this is going to be one line of coal, and that'll further make that easy on me, yeah? That's kind of the plan, right? Trying to simplify stuff. Overkill. Absolute overkill, and I don't care. Poof, okay. I don't actually think that increased my manufacture capability very much, but that's okay. Need a little more iron. I'd like to split this line a little bit. Then I'm going to get up and stretch, drink a whole mess of water, and I need more coffee. Hear that noise? That's an empty cup. It could definitely have the capability of holding some coffee. Uh, that didn't work. There we go. Whoa. That's good. That's good. So I'm double... Double using the line for... Oh, uh... There. <laughs> I was gonna say, this coal filter isn't gonna be doing very much coal filtering. Uh, but the second I switch from... ores to... coal, I think that'll work out pretty nice. Okay, let's pause it here. Uh, full episode again. Lots going on, lots to do, lots done. So yeah, thank you all for joining me. Name's John Megacycle. Another episode of Factorio's in the books. And I hope to catch you next time. Hey there, guys, gals, fans, and pals. Thanks for checking out my video. I also want to take a moment to thank all my supporters and donators, and if you'd like to join up with me and Game With My Crew, all the information to get connected is in the description below. Thanks again, and I hope to catch you next time.